Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and you have reached Rockin' Robin's Garage Sale Finds. We have been selling on eBay for 20 years. We have been selling on Poshmark. Just a few years, we sell on Facebook Marketplace, and we sell at the flea markets for 20 years. So what we do is we like to tell you a little bit about each of them, stuff that we can give you tips. We've been doing it so long, we want to help other people. and we, we do those four formats, so we talk about those four formats. Today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Coca-Cola collectibles and selling them and things you might want to know. So stay tuned be right back all right so coca-cola was originated in 1986 by an atlanta pharmacist named john s pemberton his bookkeeper frank robinson not the baseball player. He chose the name for the drink, believe it or not. There are about 2,000 products available in the world at the Coca-Cola Beverage Company. The headquarters is in Atlanta, Georgia. If you ever wanna go, I haven't been, but I plan to go to the Atlanta, Georgia Coca-Cola factory and see some of these. Coca-Cola's Collective Club was made in 1974 because of all the people who liked it. Their goal was to promote the preservation and collection of memorabilia related to Coca-Cola. There are more than 40 chapters across the world. They're regional and national club, and they meet every month. It's amazing. So people have been collecting Coke for a long time, and you can start out collecting or selling to people as long as you know a little bit about it. Now I'm going to recommend if you want to learn to sell Coke that you get Alan Petretti's Coca-Cola Collectibles Price Guide, whatever the newest edition is. Although you can use some older ones, they might not tell you the price, but it's considered the Coke Collector's Bible. Now you have to remember, these price guides, what they say they're worth, that doesn't mean you're gonna get that much. Don't expect that you see the guide and you're going to say, oh, this is worth $30. I have to get $30. It, it all depends on how many there are on eBay and what they're selling for. So you're using that as a guide so you know what to buy and what to avoid. But that is a good guide and that will help you pick out the right items so you can sell them on eBay. Another way to determine the current value or the real time is to actually Go to Coca-Cola on eBay. I did, and there was over 146,000 Coca-Cola items. Can you believe it? Just two years ago, it averaged about 80 to 90, and now it's 146,000 different Coke items. There's a major convention in Atlanta every year that you, if you live in the area, you might want to go to or you might know about. And there's an auction, there's a swap meet, uh, there's room hopping. Uh, it, it's like a Coca-Cola flea market. If you haven't been and you're really into Coca-Cola, you may want to do this. If you like to sell Coca-Cola, if that's your thing, you may want to go there as well because you can buy and sell. Often collectors focus on one thing. Bottles are the most popular thing that collectors buy. Uh, they have trademark contour bottles and they're popular collectibles. They're relatively inexpensive to acquire. I try to get them for a dollar or two and I don't sell them for more than $5. Sometimes I will look them up on eBay. Sometimes I won't bother because I've seen them before, I know. Uh, the bottles are made in various cities and states, so there's many to choose from. Older bottles are worth more. So if they're an older bottle, keep your eye out for them. They have raised embossed lettering, and newer ones have white writing and include patent dates, and the older ones probably don't even have patent dates. Some people do trays. You know, they see the cool trays. I'll put a picture of one. I personally started out collecting Coca-Cola polar bears. I loved the cola bear, the Coca-Cola polar bears commercials. I don't know, maybe it was 20 years ago when, when I first started eBay. Um, they, I just adored them. And I have an Xmas tree collection of all Coca-Cola items, not just polar bears. So have a look.
I have a lot of Coca-Cola items. I, I also had cups, saucers. I had chair and table. I had a bench. I had a Coca-Cola cooler. I had a cooler where you just open the door, take the soda out. I loved it. You can see my shirt. I'm a Coca-Cola collector. Oh, I had so many things. I had big signs. And, you know, I met a lot of people in my years who did Coca-Cola, collected it. I had a guy, when I used to live in Connecticut, he was called the Coke Man. And when he passed, they had a tag sale in his house. I have never seen so many Coke items in my life. He must have had just a 100 houses. And he had every imaginable signs you can think of the old tin signs i've had one he must have had 25. he had machines and he had everything and so many new in box his entire house was like a uh museum except that he was a hoarder in some ways because it was full to capacity oh my god so there's a lot of coke collectors right now i go to flea markets and i have three different people who collect coke so i'm always asking them you know what are you looking for what types of things and they collect a little bit of everything some people specialize some people don't but you're going to meet a lot of coke collectors Okay, now what people collect often depends on how much money they have and the space they have. Uh, vending machines are fun to collect, they're fun to sell. But how much room do you have to have your whole house be full of, of machines if that's what you're gonna sell or that's what you're gonna collect? So you have to not think, oh, I gotta buy everything because you're not gonna have room. <laughs> Collecting Coca-Cola is a great hobby and it's a lot of fun, but you have to think about how much space you have. Uh, you have to beware of items that are common. There's a lot of common items. And as you go out there and go to garage sales and thrift stores, just buy what you see if it's a reasonable price. You'll eventually learn the common things, the common glasses, the ones you see all the time. There's a lot of glasses that just say Coca-Cola that you will see all the time. Very common. You may not be able to sell them. You, you try to look out for unusual things. Now, one of the things I want you to look out for are certain bottles in your area. Now, I lived in Connecticut. Yukon Huskies won the uh, March Madness, the whole thing and the women and the men, and they had bottles for both. Now, they only distribute Coca-Cola bottles like that in Connecticut because people outside of them aren't as interested. So I would buy them, and I would buy them for like $5 a six-pack, the bottles, and I sold them on eBay for eight bucks a piece. Let me tell you, I had a basement with about 25 cases of soda bottles that I sold on eBay from the Coca-Cola. Now, if you live in any area, say you lived in Kansas City and you saw the Chiefs just won the Super Bowl, I hope you're on lookout for Chiefs soda bottles. Now, they're not gonna come out the next day. It takes a while for them to come out. So they're probably maybe out by now, maybe not. But if you look for them, you find them, sell them on eBay. Check eBay prices right now once you get done with me. See how much you're selling for. See what's in your area. Everybody has a team. I mean, it could be events, it could be different things. Everybody lives in an area where there's something that people will want to collect with Coke bottles. And sometimes they just put out rare ones for no reason. Now I'm looking for some Disney ones because I'm sure they have those as well. So wherever you live, look for bottles, especially if a team wins something important. Look for holiday sales. Near Christmas is the most, they put out a lot of Coca-Cola items. It's a good time to stack up on that. What I try to do is wait for the sales either after Christmas or just before Christmas and grab anything that's Coca-Cola on sale. It could be a box with Coca-Cola trays or it could be anything. Christmas is huge when it comes to Coca-Cola. So make sure you save some room to buy that type of stuff. There are other holidays that things come out. Sometimes 4th of July, sometimes uh, Easter or Halloween you got to look out all the time but I would start with like a, a Walmart or a Target or something like that and look around for the soda bottles that they're selling see if they're selling anything that's new or just for your region and look them up on eBay take your cell phone look them up you might make some money if you want to learn more about Coca-Cola, if Coca-Cola is your thing, you go to www.coca-cola-collectors.club or something like that. Once you put it in on uh, Google, you'll find collectors clubs. And there's a lot out there, like I said, but that's a good place for you to start. So I hope that video has been helpful for you. I have a lot of information and you know, he asked me things about Coke. I don't know everything. I've been collecting for a long time, but I've actually had to stop collecting. I started collecting Disney now and I stopped collecting Coke because I just had so much. And the funny thing is my partner used to collect Disney. She stopped to collect Coke and now I stopped Coke to collect Disney. 
Now we're both collecting Disney again. So these things happen. This is Rock and Robin. Make sure you subscribe, you hit the bell, and you comment. Next time you go to the garage sale, make sure you look for Coca-Cola items that are reasonably priced. You may want to pick them up. It's a great item to sell, and you're going to love it. So go out there, find some Coca-Cola items, and make some money.